YouTube, this is Natural Normal Nay, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my grocery haul CVS couponing trip that I did with the kids. And today is Sunday, it's the beginning of the week, so you know, we gotta get it going for the week. All right, so stay tuned to the next part. I will start with the CVS first, and then we're going to the Audis. Um, before we get started, I do want to give a special shout out to two people. Um, they are some big supporters and I just want to show love to them. Um, but they were both on the live last Wednesday. Um, I usually go live around nine o'clock on Wednesdays and um, they happen to be on live. And I told them I would give them a shout out on my next CVS couponing haul. And this just happens to be that haul. All right, so the first person I want to shout out is um, Sierra Hicks. She has a wonderful channel. I would love if you guys would go check her out um, and give her some support. And she does have an Instagram as well. I will leave both the links to her YouTube channel and her Instagram in the description box below. And the next person I want to shout out is Jamie Kinsey. And I just want to shout her out as well. And All right, you guys, let's get back to it. For the trip to CVS, this is what I got. I got two things of these mega uh, nine pack uh, Cottonelle tissue paper. And then I also got some Scott paper towels, a couple packs of Pampers, some Aussie um, conditioner and Airheads, along with my LaCroix Reuter water. The total I spent for this was $38.61. As you can see, I saved a total of 59% of savings and um, that was $49.58 worth, okay? So I had $3 off, $8 off, $4 off, $3 off, $3 off, $5 off, and $3 off. Those were due to both CVS manufacturer coupons, the um, e-bucks or reward bucks that I have, and then um, the Pampers had a manufacturer coupon as well. I also have more coupons or reward bucks that I can use, starting with this $5 rewards. And I'll also have $8 off of my $60 purchase. And then, um, you know, you have all of your other coupons. There's many CVS manufacturer store coupons that I can use either this week or next week. I believe the extra care rewards that um, expires a month from now. All right, now we're gonna get into the Aldi's purchase. Um, so of course you gotta get stuff for the kids throughout the week. So I got their snacks, um, some chips, some um, peanut butter, crackers, honey buns, the Raymond noodles. Um, I also got a whole bunch of baby food for the girl. Applesauce and of course her um, puffs, banana puffs. Also got some peanut butter. I know a recipe calls for that, but then the kids are also going to be um, having some peanut butter jelly sandwiches this week. I also have some honey for a recipe. And um, as, you, as you can see on the screen, I do have me going through Millline to prepare my grocery list. This is what I use to go grocery shopping today. Some of the stuff is called for in different recipes per meal line. Some stuff I just added on into the grocery list because they have that feature where you can add in additional items, which is one thing that I love about meal line. It's super convenient, super fast, and I don't have to, you know, take all that time out my day to figure out what I want to cook for the week and figure out what's new and interesting that I could try and my family will love. All right, so we got some barbecue sauce, some olives. I just saw some olives. I'm like, I haven't had it in a while. I do want to just eat it as a snack. Um, the basmati rice. You know, I, I think I should have a video about how to cook rice because I feel like I'm becoming like I'm becoming a pro. So I probably should post a video about that maybe later on this week. So we'll, we'll see. All right, so we got some pop tarts. Um, you know these rice sides. When I was little, I used to love these cheddar broccoli rice sides. So. Um, I did just grab them just in case I didn't want to like cook regular rice and just have something different. But you know, you still gotta be careful of the sodium intake. You know, that's uh, 27, 29% of sodium. So, all right, um, going on to the produce, I got some strawberries, oranges, bananas, some carrots, potatoes, green beans, um, cow and some asparagus. And then I also got some coconut flakes. I thought I had some here, I couldn't find them. So uh, I know a recipe calls for that and I will be using that. 
also had to get some more almond flour and um, some bread, some cheddar cheese. And I wanna try this pumpkin pie um, dessert hummus. I'm not sure how it would taste, but they said it's the dessert, so it should taste good, right? All right, <laughs> so um, I got some eggs, cause we go through eggs like crazy, and some frozen pancakes. And my meats I got for the week are the meatballs. I know a recipe called for the meatballs, and honestly, I don't have the time or patience to try to make it and it just come out all sloppy. So I got them already pre-made. And then I also got some salmon, some chicken breast tenderloins, because that's probably gonna help speed up the process when it comes to cooking chicken tenders. And then also have some shrimp and some aluminum foil, <laughs> and then some milk along with our juices for the week. And then some extra stuff I did um, pick up is this candle. Um, this is like $4.99. It tastes, or, um, it smells really good, but maybe too sweet, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna try this out, see how I like it. It's gonna stay on the dining room table right here because that's where I usually light up most of the candles for the house. Got these books for the kids and we would be trying some of these out once we use up all of the other books that we have here. The total for this purchase came up to $137.64, uh, which is not bad because if you think about it, there's six people in the house, that's what? That's about $20 a person for the servings uh, when it comes to food. So I feel like that's not a bad purchase. Um, it's within the $100 to $150 budget range, which I try to keep us in. Sometimes we stay over, sometimes we, you know, get under. And those, those are the weeks that I'm really happy is when we get under and stay below our budget. Okay? All right, so that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys liked it. I, hope, I know it's a super fast video, but look, it doesn't have to take forever to prepare for the week. And that's one thing I really wanna incorporate in my channel is just helping other working moms or other working busy people that have a lot of things they have to do on their plate, whether it's their family, themselves, or maybe you have a job that you know is going to take up a lot of your time and energy. You just always wanna find the thing that is going to help you take care of yourself and your life in the most easiest manner. Like, if you can find an easy way to do stuff, do it. <laughs> why not? So that's why I love meal lime. I love finding the meals from meal lime. Um, it's fitting out into the grocery list. I love couponing, but I also don't want to be sitting down couponing or cutting out coupons all day long. Like I used to have the time, now I don't. If you have not done so yet, please hit the like button, comment what your favorite item is that I purchased and if you purchased any of these before. And then if you have not done so yet, please hit the subscribe button. I would love for you to join my YouTube family and I'm always going to show the support. So um, that's all I have to say. Have a wonderful day. Bye.